This one modification to our Bigfoot travel trailer has made the biggest impact on how we RV travel. We installed the system almost immediately after we brought the trailer home, and we've never looked back. Having the ability to dry camp and boondock is really important to us. Most of the time we choose camping locations that are completely off grid, no hookups at all. And since we special ordered our trailer with this 12 volt compressor style refrigerator, a decent sized battery bank was essential. We install our battery bank and most of our electrical system here on the right side of the trailer underneath the dinette seat. Let's have a look. We equipped our Bigfoot with four 100 amp hour lithium batteries for a total of 400 amp hours. We also put in a 3000 watt go power pure sine wave inverter. I don't want to get too technical in this video, but I do want to share a few more of the system components. There are a couple of circuit breakers in the system and a couple of fuses to keep it protected. And there are also a couple of shut off switches uh, that allows us to shut various components off uh, in case we need to do repairs or maintenance. All of the power that flows in and out of the batteries flows through this shunt. It provides us an accurate measurement of the battery's state of charge. And the shunt is wired back to this display panel. This gives quite a bit of different information including battery state of charge, voltage of the system, and current and power going in or out of the batteries. The display also sends out a Bluetooth signal that can be used by the Victron app on your cell phone. And it provides pretty much the same information and gives you the ability to change many of the system settings. When we special ordered our trailer from Bigfoot, we worked with them to design and build this dinette seat with enough space to allow us to mount all these components. They also mounted a wire mesh panel under here that would allow us some ventilation for the inverter. So how do we keep the batteries charged? We have four different methods. Our primary method is solar. We have four 100 watt Renogy solar panels mounted on the roof of the trailer. They're all wired back to this device, the solar charge controller. It's used to regulate the voltage and charge current going to the batteries. We also have a 100 watt portable solar panel that we place on the ground and plug into the outside of the trailer just when we need it. Our second most used method is alternator charging. We have some large gauge wires that run from the truck back to the trailer so we can charge while we're driving. The wires come in here and go through this circuit breaker back to the batteries. The third method we have is charging from shore power. Of course, that only works at campsites that have electric. And finally, and only as a last resort, we have our generator. We have a 2000 watt Honda generator that we keep in the bed of our truck. And just because I know we're going to get the questions, yes, it will run the air conditioner. We're currently on our 11th night in a row of camping with no hookups. And look, our batteries are still at 88%. This was just a quick overview of the DC side of our electrical system. We'll shoot some future videos showing more details about the solar and the alternator charging systems. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.